Thursday in Holy Week, Monday Thursday, St John chapter 13, verses 8 and 9. Jesus taught not only by his words, but by his actions. And this is one of the actions that we repeat in church on Monday Thursday, usually much to the embarrassment of people who take part. Jesus then poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, do you wash my feet? Jesus answered him, What I am doing now you do not understand, but afterwards you will understand. Peter said to him, You shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my head and my hands. Peter was horrified and shocked because the natural order of things, that the lesser washes the feet of the greater, Jesus was subverting. He it was who took the towel and the water basin and went round and washed the feet of the assembled company. There would have been somebody in the disciples' company who would have been nominated probably as the most junior and therefore who would have washed the disciples' feet before they ate. But not on this night. Jesus himself took the bowl, took the towel and went round. And possibly there was that stunned, embarrassed silence. They were too embarrassed, confused, awestruck, frightened to say anything, until it got to Peter, who was never a man, not to say what he felt. Enough was enough. What was Jesus thinking? Simon Peter thought the others might just have sat there and let this carry on, but I am not going to let this carry on. No, Lord, you are never going to wash my feet. But Peter's easily persuaded. If I don't wash your feet, you will have no part of me. If you don't let me serve you, show you practical love, you are not any part of me. Well then, wash all of me, Lord. No, don't be melodramatic, Peter. This is enough. This is how I want your community to be. Not a melodramatic gesture community, but to be prepared to do the practical things, because foot washing has become in church a sign and a symbol. But for Jesus and his disciples at the Last Supper, it was just a way of having comfortable, clean feet so that they could enjoy and concentrate on their Passover meal. We are to be a community of those who care for each other's practicalities so that love isn't something airy-fairy, but actually expresses our practical concern for each other and for those amongst whom we live.